here's the thing. This junker I'm driving isn't exactly ready for Formula One, but it can get up to 100 without gasping, and it's not like there's highway patrols, so... Whipping down I-64 at 100 miles an hour. Good idea or terrible idea? I could wrap myself around a telephone pole, but I don't think I'm going to get pulled over. It's not like I'm in a rush anywhere, but come on. It'd be fun, right? Oh, I guess I should worry about deer, though. I hit a deer once when I was 16, and God, it was awful. The deer was fine, but it was goddamn terrifying, and it bent up my car something good. And I loved that car. My dad started fixing it up for me when I was 12, and I took over after he... It wasn't a fancy car, by any stretch. It wasn't even a particularly good car. But it ran, and it was mine. And even though the paint was dull and one of the side mirrors came from a different model car entirely, I still kept it pristine. And then a stupid deer broke one of the headlights and busted up the hood. I was never able to fix it. The hood, that is, I did get a new headlight. But that car still saw me through the rest of my teen years and a good chunk of my 20s. I think that's the last thing I had that my dad had touched. I had to ditch it on a job in Illinois when I was 27, and I told myself I'd go back for it, but by the time I could, I'd forgotten exactly where I'd put it. God, maybe that's a way to spend my time. Go looking for a car I parked eight years ago. It'd sure keep me busy. I think I probably will start heading west again once I've gotten to the coast. Go from ocean to ocean. I'm not as familiar with things once you cross over the Mississippi, but not like getting lost is going to delay me from something. I just know I can't keep circling around, never going further than 800 miles from Pennsylvania. Feels too much like I might decide to pack it all in and go back. And I am not going back.